Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we're going to show you how you can tweak grid points for connectors, domains, and blocks to locally improve grid quality. So to start, I'm going to grab this connector and go to Edit, Tweak. And the easiest way to use this tool is to just grab an existing grid point and move it to a new position to improve grid quality. If you control click on a point, you can explicitly change its position, you could restrict or unrestrict its movement, and you'll notice that when I grab this point and slide it, I'm basically moving it along that connector and it's maintaining the connector shape. I can control click on this and I can unmaintain connector shape, basically toggle off this option and I can unconstrain it from the geometry so that when I grab this point, I can move it anywhere in the grid system, even off of the geometry that it was constrained to. I can toggle on move rotation point automatically and now when I move this point you'll notice the axis, the rotation axis snaps to that point so that when I rotate that becomes the center of my rotation and it's a little bit easier to see where that point is in my grid system. And if I want to move it back to the original position I can just click restore to do so. Now I can do the same thing on the domain level so I'll select this domain and go to edit tweak. Now this cell has kind of a high included angle. So what I'm gonna do is grab this point and just slide it over to improve that angle. Again, I can control click on this and explicitly change its position. I could restrict its movement if I wanted to, or I could even unconstrain it from the geometry and move it anywhere in the grid system. And lastly, I can select a block and go to edit tweak. And when I do so, I'll get a cut plane, which I can move. So I'll go ahead and move this to a new position and I'll just turn off the view of the domain so it's a little bit easier to see. And I can select any point in this block that's on the cut plane and move it to a new position. I can control click on that point, again explicitly typing in values for where I want that point to go. I could restrict its movement and I can even change the display style of that cut plane so it's a little bit easier to see. So you're not gonna do this for every point in your mesh. What you'll do is you'll probably look at the grid quality, maybe identify the one or two locations where you could tweak the mesh to locally improve the quality, and then jump into the tweak command and move that point. So that's how you use the tweak command to move points on connectors, domains, and blocks to locally improve grid quality. If you like this video, please be sure to click the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.